YouTube. Welcome to another video. Let me just start off by saying thank you. Thank you guys so much for the love and support. It really means a lot to me. I hope you guys have been enjoying the videos. I know I said I'd be dropping a video once a week, but I've just got so much content lined up for you guys that I'm hitting upload as soon as the video is ready. That being said, if you're new here, my name is Kevin Mediola. I live in Anchorage, Alaska, and here on my channel, you will find mountain bike videos all winter and all summer long. That's right. If you are into fat bikes or don't know what fat bikes are, you'll find fat biking content on my channel, as well as the adventures and nonsense we get into with Stump Jumper. Speaking of Stump Jumper, let's get into today's video. So in today's video, we are going to be installing some upgrades on the Stump Jumper. Let's see what we've got here. So we've got some new tires. Vittoria Mazza 29.6. Uh, we got the 1UP EDC light. We've got the 1UP preload kit. I'm not sure if I'm going to need that, but I picked up the 1UP stem as well as the 1UP carbon bar and got myself a uh, torque wrench, which we'll need for installing carbon bar. And we've also got new lens for um, goggles and new grips and stickers. So we got all those goodies to install on the stump jumper. So on top of the upgrades we're installing today, we're also going to be doing some bike maintenance so we can get this thing ready for the trails. Make sure you stick around to the end of the video for more details. Well, let's get into it. First things first, I'm going to get the wheels off. I'm going to go ahead and slap on the tires and uh, get this thing cleaned up. Alright, we got the tires off pretty easily. Kind of funny, the front tire almost had like no sealant in it whatsoever. I don't even know if that's sealant or if that's just water. Um, also, the rear tire, we added some uh, race sealant um, towards the end of last season. So if you're curious what that looks like, it looks pretty delicious. Um, if you don't know, the race sealant, all this little chunky stuff is... Uh, meant to uh, plug any uh, punctures you get on the trail and that's what we're going to be putting on the new tires as well so for the new tires we're going to be running the vittoria mazza these are in the trail casing they do have an enduro casing which is pretty much a full-on downhill tire but for where we plan to ride the trail casing will be good enough uh, main reason why I wanted to upgrade my tires was because the specialized butcher tires are well known to have very weak sidewalls and I've actually bent my rim thanks to those weak sidewalls and as well too my brother had gotten a cut on his butchers as well too from some roots so I wanted to upgrade the tires to have that peace of mind. Uh, also um, on top of the stronger sidewall, um, Vittoria runs a four compound versus your three compound you typically find on your Maxxis tires. And basically the design there is to have stiffer compounds in certain parts of the tread and softer compounds in other parts of the tread for um, the most grip possible and as well as the longest life possible. So. Let's get these bad boys slapped on and see how it looks. We got the tires mounted up. I didn't put it on all the way just yet because we've got to add our tire sealant. We're going to go with the Stan's race sealant. Um, also, before 
we continue, I just want to say none of these parts that we're installing today are sponsored. These are all parts that I wanted to install myself. However, if anyone out there wants to sponsor me, let me know. So we'll get the sealant put in those tires. And uh, next, after that, we're going to do some maintenance to the bike. And I'll show you what's going on there. All right. So let's make sure that we're happy with our tire placement. As long as that all looks good. All right, before we close it up on the other end, we're going to add about three to four ounces of sealant. It's falling apart on me, but oh well. See how much mess we make. That should be good. Get messy, guys. up and hope it beads. Got one pop. That's what we want to hear. Woo! That'll work out. No leaks, no sounds. I think we're good to go. Let's do the other tire and we should be good to go. All right, we've got both tires set and beat it up. Everything went pretty well, pretty easy. So let's move on to the bike. So on the bike, we're gonna do a little bit of maintenance. We've got a rear derailleur hanger that's all cracked and it's time for a new one. So got a new derailleur hanger to put on there. As well, too, we're going to take a look at the pads and replace them if needed. This is the old and cracked old hanger. So it's time for a new one. So with the new rear derailleur hanger put on, I went ahead and took off the rear brake pads to see how they look. They still got some, some life in them left. We're just gonna go ahead and just do pad replacement for today and uh, probably do a more in-depth service at a later time. So new brake pads are in, front and back. And so next, we're gonna get the wheels put back on and we can start on installing these goodies. So I picked up the one up stem and I wasn't sure how to install it. So typically people get the one up stem and then they get the um, EDC tool which threads your um, steer tube. But I have the EDC light, which means I need to retain my star nut. So I wasn't sure if I needed the preload kit in order to use the stem. So I'm gonna mess with that and see how that goes. The one up carbon bar, gonna be really nice. The reason why we went with this is different from all the other carbon bars. I mean, obviously it's gonna be a little bit lighter. I mean, you probably won't ever notice the weight difference, but um, the way this is designed is this actually isn't, the clamp isn't actually um, round, it's more oval. So it's, it's definitely a different kind of design and the purpose to this and the way that they uh, one up has built this is supposed to be more compliant. So for the rowdy rough stuff, um, when you're pumping back and forth and, you know, going through rock gardens and stuff like that, this should help 
alleviate all that um, vibration that you feel and should be should be good for a better ride so we'll try that out and see how that goes so let's go ahead and slap that all together Before we put on the one up stem, we're going to go ahead and tap our star nut for the EDC tool. And basically, what we're going to do is just tighten this all the way down. Unless that's all tightened, we're just going to take the hammer and we're just going to jam our star nut farther down. That way, we can fit our EDC tool. And put on our one up stem. All right, we've got the stem and EDC tool hooked up. Give it a little tension and uh, get everything all nice and straight, but it's all bolted in there nice and snug. Um, I also ended up using the uh, preload kit just for extra safety measures. So, I mean, obviously this is made out of plastic and the only thing that's holding those two things together um, from your fork from falling out is um, that, that piece of plastic and that one bolt. So um, having the headset tightened and the preload um, kit basically it creates tension to make sure that this doesn't uh, spread apart. So let's get the bar put on next. All right, we got all the goodies installed. She's ready to go. She's ready to hit the trails. Uh, if you guys have any questions, make sure to comment down below. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Uh, if you haven't already, make sure you give the video a thumbs up. And if you aren't already subscribed, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Um, what else am I forgetting here? That's right. We got this bad boy. Evoc travel bag. We're going to need this travel bag because we're headed out to